been a while, but we're back. I'm gonna go find some toys. Hi guys, we are at Pet Home Nostalgia again. It's been a while. Um, and yeah, we're looking at stuff. Things have changed. Look at the treasure trolls. Oh. White shoes. <laughs> this, I think, oh no, this isn't the one. There's one where it has these little metal things and if you touch them, they like, the tail flaps and, really, the soundtrack? That's cool. Where's the littlest pet shops? <laughs> Maybe they all sold, that would make sense. It's a lot more stuff here than there was before, though. And there's My Little Ponies. Let's look at that. Let's check them out. Huh? Oh, is this one from the Disney animators, I think? But I don't remember which one. It's probably obvious, but I don't want to get it wrong. This is Lily Blossom. I'm never going to find the one with the bangs. That's the rare one, if you were wondering. <laughs> Unless they re-released the bangs when I don't remember. But back when she came out, that was the rare one. Then, oh, look. Some little cute. Which dress is that supposed to be? Oh, this is from an animator set too. Um, <laughs> Indeed. They've got Jane. Very cute. Very, very cute. Who are you? Oh, Elena. Cute. That's a really cute one. And I really like the Sophia the First ones. I always really wanted the, there was like a castle set they did one year and I wanted it so bad. Oh, there's little catch ups. I wanted it so, so bad. These go down here, but I never ended up getting it. Um, look at these. I just want to pick up any that I don't have and I just went through my little pet shop, so I know now. Um, so this one. Oh, I don't have this one, but she's pretty stained, but we could try a stain removal. Um, oh, this one's so cute. Yeah, see, I just, like, double-checked, so I'm powerful now. <laughs> and I love me some little touch ups Ooh, cute. They're so dirty. Oh my gosh, Brett. It's a Geico Christmas ornament. I need this to go with my Geico plushies. <laughs> I'm kidding. I do have Geico plushies, though. I think Brett's far away right now. Ooh, there's a ton of them I don't have. Because people don't like these ones that are past, like, the original set of these, so I can use that. That's the same guy to my advantage here, which is great, because I love them all. I have this one. All right, so picked out my little patch ups. I need to go get a basket, I forgot to do that, so. Yeah, oh, it's a whole frozen bin. It's a whole frozen bin, yeah. I love, it. these little figures are so cute. Probably, were these? What company did these, I forgot. Hasbro, yeah. These were the best thing to come out of Hasbro, Disney Princess. Um, I love these magic cloak things. These are Mattel. Um, my dad bought me some randomly, and I was, like, so in love with them. They were so fun. Okay. I'm gonna leave these behind for a second. Oh, some calico critters. It's like the whole family there. And there's some little things in here, too. Fine. Okay. Go get a basket. <laughs> Looky here. We've got a ton of OMGs and Monster High stuff. But the Monster High stuff, when they get, like, good ones, I think they sell pretty quick, so... Um, the ones that are left are all ones that I have already. I got some My Little Pony up here. Ooh! Hair Adorables Unicorn. I kind of want that. I got a Barbie Extra Mini in there, too. Cute! A lot of, like, little mini Barbies. Maybe they're, like, McDonald's ones? I don't know. And then if we move over here, some little stuff. Grand House, I'm very tempted. And over here got a bunch of stuff. Look at this guy. Why are you so cute? Um, there's some 80s Care Bears too. Look at this. I love this Polly Castle or whatever it is. I think y'all confirmed it was in the last video, but I don't know. I don't remember. Look at these guys. It's so cool to see them all next to each other like this. Aren't they beautiful? I love the embroidered belly badges they have. So cute. So cute. And then, oh, hello. More ponies. It's a basic fun one in there. What is that? What does this go to? Oh, Baby Born Surprise. Interesting. I've never seen that before. Um, got some Barbaras and Fox. Oh, cute. Cute. I actually really love these ones. Oh my god. 
I'm kind of tempted because I think these ones are like absolutely precious and they're Rainbow High's mothers. Yeah, we'll get that. Because <laughs> I don't have any poops and unicorns and those are the specific ones I want and I never really see them. Look, there's a Minnie Mouse fashion doll, which are actually pretty cute. I'm just not a Minnie person at all. I'm kind of tempted by that too, but I like the regular sized ones, like the brushable size. Better. Look at Brett over there. <laughs> Hi, mister. I need, we need a plushie display like that. That'd be great, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would it fit them all though? I don't know. <laughs> all right, let's get into the doll room. It has gotten fuller since last time. I'm just gonna put my basket down because I'm gonna need my hands. What do we have here? All this stuff. I don't even know where to begin. So the American Girlfriend, this is Julie's shirt, but these are all, <laughs> I hope you didn't just hear my story. <laughs> Um, this is a mini Grace, pretty cute. Um, there's a lot of Welly Wishers, like there's another one down here. This is a God's doll, is it not? Or am I wrong? What are you? No, Potter's aren't. Oh, they look, they look similar. Sorry, I'm not super familiar with them. Yeah, so the American Girls go quick because they're so well priced. So they've got some like, new like, much older stuff. These are beautiful. Look at this one. That face sculpt is amazing. It seems like they were kept in box where the boxes got really damaged. This one's amazing too. Is that the- I didn't know there were like alternate versions because I have um, one of this one. I knew there would be variants, but I didn't know they changed the dresses, so that's cool. <clears throat> Look at a rat. A doll star. I'm like, who is this? Because I don't- that's not a Barbara. Who is that? Let me know. <laughs> oh, we got some little oopsies. I really want her, but she doesn't have her like outfit, so <laughs> where would I get that? Cool. So exciting. I can't believe how much more stuff there is already. I mean, I guess it's been a while since I was last here. It's a Shawnee doll, too. They're really beautiful, too. And then, bags. Get into these, like, little babies. This is where they put the little guys. They're adorable. I love the kissy face so much. It's so cute. Right in here. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I love the bootleg monster medals. There's certain ones that I would buy in a heartbeat. This is from Co Dancing Princesses, is it not? Because the little like porta potties for putting the Kelly's um, feet in because they like they can't sit essentially. I think that's what that's from. An Equestria Girls mini. I love these. They're so cute. Oh, there's some Disney fairies too. Oh, I'm gonna set this aside for a little bit. I guess I'll hold it. <laughs> Sorts of friends in here. The, the faces on these are just so. Oh! It's a Lottie. I like Lotties. There's one that I specifically would buy in a heartbeat if I found her, but have not. I used to see her all the time in Austin. She was at like a store, like in her package. Should I slip into these slippers? <laughs> would they fit your feet? No. Kind of iconic. Yeah. The Fantasia too, that's your favorite. Um, oh. Sorry, I've been I'm trying to like have tunnel vision so I don't spoil anything by myself while I'm walking around, but like so I didn't even see this. Is this the car? No, it's not. I had one where it had like Did music. we acknowledge the giant Play Doh store display by you? Oh, that's sick. No, I didn't see it. It has the new characters on it, unfortunately. But that's really cool though. Kinda dope. I don't know if that was here last time. I don't think so. Well, it could have been just somewhere else and we didn't catch it. Look at all this. I can't, when I start building a dollhouse, this is going to be like the most valuable resource in the world. Like, it'd be so fun. I really want to do that, but it always Oh, look. They have their little display now. See, they're smart. They make it where you can't, they don't come with stands, but so you have to buy this mm. to stand. Because <laughs> otherwise you're not going to be able to. All right, we've got Belle Pantry here. Um, <laughs> these are Merida. She has so funny eyes. I have a really beautiful Merida, but she has a nose stain, unfortunately. Is this Jane? No, the dress had me thinking for a second. That would've been cool. I still don't have her. Um, these are all ones that I have, or just dresses that I have. This one's really, what happened here? 
Is that how that dress looks? Mm -hmm. Confused. It's marked as your princess. Is it short under? I had no idea. I thought that was a full panel. Okay. Well. <laughs> and then in here, we have some little friends. It's a hip to be square, but I have this one. And I'm second guessing, but I'm pretty sure I do. Um, I am missing one hip to be square, but I don't think it's that one. There's a Mycene shirt there. Cute dress. That is so cute. Oof. The Velcro. Look at all this. Oh, that's another Mycene outfit, too. I don't know who this is, though. It's got inset eyes, but it's kind of old, so that's interesting. I've seen this type of doll before, I just don't know what the line is called or anything. Oh, the Josie and the Pussycats doll is still here. She's like actually really cool. Like her face is really pretty. And then we move up a little. We've got a full articulated Barbie body there. Not like a, f I guess not a full articulated because that would be a made to move body, but um, <laughs> like she's got the cutie reveal sweatpants on. We talked about her last time we were here. Oh, this one? Yeah. Oh, I don't remember. You remember better than I do. I like that cherry shirt. This isn't a big doll day, I fear, at this one particular store, but that's okay. I haven't been here in a while, so I don't know what's been happening. I love this style of neon Barbie. I wish that Made to Move had something more similar to that, because I don't it like- It all mixed in with the Barbies. Yeah, because I think people will come through and like- Mix stuff up. Yeah, because um, they price them differently, but it seems like that just happens, which, yeah. And then, of course, we have the mermaid bin. Whoa, that is cool. How does it work? Oh, it's like the the ones with the silicone tails. That's really that's actually she really cool. She gets one next to you. Huh? She gets one next to you while you. Yeah. When I was a kid, they had those, but they had like silicone or latex. I don't know what is this. I don't know what the material was. Look, she's like. See, I don't like small wings though, but her face is like really pretty. Who are you? Mattel. Look at her face. Let me know who this is, guys. Like, I do not recognize this doll at all. It's too bad the wings are so small. I hate small wings. I feel like it throws off the whole design, you know? The whole point and is then these are, giant wings. I like how they've been separated because molded clothing. <laughs> it's like, meh. <laughs> you can't have those for cheaper. <laughs> Which, like, yeah. Oh! I love the cat ones. They're so outrageous. I have this one already. Otherwise, I would go for them. Look at this one. Little cat friends. We're gonna open up a little location for the cats. This one's like a raccoon, but they have a chewed tail, and I do think I have that one. Or maybe it's just that I've seen that one here before because the chewed tail, I don't get them. Oh! Is that a little angels or whatever? Oh, I'm tempted, but she doesn't have anything. I would love to have these, especially their pets. They come with like really cute pets. It's a Barbie extra pet. Um, Ooh. They're so cute. I just wish I was more knowledgeable because if they had their like clothing and like I liked their look, I would get them. But I don't want to get stuck with a bunch that I don't have the stuff for. And then this is accessories, I think, just like for MGA dolls in general, like because it's pretty easy to determine. I think I assume it's mainly supposed to be LOLs. Sorry, I pressed that button. Can we do a little Power Ranger TV or something? I guess it's for the LOL house because they have like LOL proportions. Oh, these are Bratz pillows? You got a rubber in there? Yeah. I guess you got it too. Where's that other Brat pillow? I want those then, if they're Bratz. I'll grab them. See, so yeah, there is Brat doll things in here. Hmm. Whose man is that? I think it's a baby calico critter. Okay, I got these. Hi. Yes? Yes, it's like for you to get through. Thank you. We have a doll bag. Sorry, I've been so gone. Ooh. She's a mermaid. The observation. <laughs> well, I've never seen this one before. It's clearly not a her. Like, look at her e earrings. They're <laughs> cowboy boots. Yeah. I love that. There's no cowboy mermaids. Wow, look at this one. Oh my gosh. These are cool. These are from an era I have, like, no knowledge of, though. <laughs> oh. She's so cute. Who is she? Oh, baby. These are so cool. These probably all came from the same home, too. Who is this? 
the bust is actually mind blowing on this compared to the rest of the body. <laughs> What's your Instagram? Oh, <laughs> look, this is a. Um, I'm trying to say Tomi, but I know that's not it. I forgot the. Mm, I had. Of course, I didn't write it. Okay, I'll remember that later, and I will want to die. Uh, oh, this is um Pocahontas's friend. Forgot her name too. I'm not. The brain's not working today. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Esmeralda. I have an extra Esmeralda outfit, but I do have an extra Esmeralda doll too that I haven't put the outfit on yet, so we're good in that department. I need to look up whose mermaid tail that is, because if the doll's in here, I'd love to get her because I'm a mermaid person. That's a really beautiful face on that one. Oh, I have uh, the Cinderella one of these in the box, I think. Oh my God. <laughs> the ideal female form. Oh. Maybe that's the mermaid? No, because the tail doesn't super match, but maybe, I don't know. I'm just not knowledgeable enough. And I get the first dibs to dig through this. I, I am so grateful. <laughs> what is your line called? Taika. Thank you. She told me because I threatened her life. <laughs> so it has really cool hair. I love crimped Kanekwon hair. It's hard to fix though. Oh, wow. Who are you? You are interesting. I've never seen these before. Oh. Hello, the prince. Oh, that is Toza. Sir Eric, yeah. Puppies are barking. Fred. <laughs> Look at this one. Okay. People are probably screaming at me about certain ones of these, you know, but I just don't. Oh, there's two Snow Whites, too. I just don't know. I'm gonna have to look it up because I really. I'm interested in the mermaid specifically. Um, so I'll be right back. I gotta do some spelunking on the internet hi guys so i'm dressing the dolls and like finding out who they are just because um some of them are ones that i want and some of them i'm just like hey if i don't want them the next customer can at least get a semi-complete doll so the ones that i'm definitely getting i really want to get her and then totally hair barbie of course um she's missing a shoe but i'm not too worried about that this one's missing a crown and a top which sucks um and then esmeralda is actually the version i don't have which is really exciting um i'm she doesn't have a crown and then um, all of her bangles. I did find one though, which is pretty cool. Um, but I gotta double check the other dolls' wrists because maybe some of them might have them and check the bag again. Um, but this is pretty cool. And I love the little jingles that she makes. She's really pretty. Um, so I'm probably gonna get her. And then I really like this, um, hula hair Barbie because she has really beautiful colored Kanekalon hair and I feel like that's not super common, especially in this era. Um, so I definitely want to get her. And then this is a kid core doll, which is kind of interesting, but I don't really have other kid core dolls, so I don't think she's coming home with me. She is really, really beautiful, though. Um, and then this doll I would have gotten, to be honest, because she has spurs that have stamps on them, but I don't think I would be able to find the other boot ever. Um, but I really like her. She's really funny. <laughs> um, she's missing her skirt, too. She has a little white skirt, but it's not in here. Not that I saw, anyway. Um, and then this doll, I actually kind of want to get her, even though her outfit is, like, awful, but it's so of the time. Um, and I, the main thing here is that they all have connect blonde hair and that's like my favorite hair fiber. <laughs> so like anything that has connect blonde hair, I'm like, I need that. Also, I found the worst outfit of all time. Wait, where's the top? Where's the top? Um, and yeah, look at this. It's so rancid. Like, wh what is the reason for that? I hate it. I actually have this. I don't know what it goes to, but my stepmom had this as a kid, I guess, because I ended up with it. Um, look, here's a somebody's crown. So maybe like an aurora crown i really want to know who this is she's like gorgeous and she has these really cool earrings that are like dangly and really delicate i'm gonna try to look into who she, who she is because chances are she goes to one of these little princess dresses but she's so interesting and like what's that little handle there and her copyright info is on the front too so like i'm really curious about her um you'll see if i figure it out if i end up with her that means i figured it out and i got her stuff so look, I think the kid had glitter glue and was like making outfits, which is pretty cute. Or maybe that was a gimmick from a certain doll. I don't know. This is one of the eras that I know like the absolute least about, especially in the Barbie department, because um, I don't know. I just never really come across them. But <gasps> is this the other totally hair Barbie shoe? Oh my gosh. Yay. Oh, they're slightly different colors, but hmm, I think I will get that shoe. Cool. Yeah. So I need to shuffle these around some more to see if I find more stuff. Oh. I need this little baby Polly Pocket, yes. Um, so yeah, this is my yes pile so far. And then the others, I think I'm good. I have Tyco Ariel dolls that I really enjoy, um, but without their outfits, I'm kind of good. I'm actually really tempted by these mini Disney princesses. They're really beautiful, but for now I won't. Um, really like that dress, kinda. 
this doll's really pretty too, but her butterflies are all broken. Look how cool, like, that's what they would have looked like. They would have had two wings like that. This doll's really pretty with the tinsel in her hair, like big tinsel globs. I don't know, these are super interesting. So yeah, the, unfortunately, Nakoma, I did find her skirt, but I haven't found her top. Also, I remembered her name. I didn't look it up, I swear. Um, really beautiful. I want her, but she doesn't have her top. It sucks. Um, I will go through, like, the different doll clothes that she already just has at the store because you never know. Maybe fate would have it in for me. Dang, that's a Hasbro one. I was like, wait a second, I need that. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm going to finish going through these, and you'll see what I get when we get home. Yeah, I'm, I'm so grateful she pulled these out for me. I had no idea. Oh, look, here's the other butterfly wing. See, that's, like, a really beautiful concept. Although I hate the floral top on this dress. I hate it. Um... This is really beautiful. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm, I posted on Instagram because I was desperate and I couldn't figure out this doll. Within one second, I'm not kidding, like the second I posted it, I got a response from Plastic underscore Palette and Erin Malibu who told me this is Locket Surprise Barbie. And I'm actually in love with this doll, but she doesn't have her skirt. And she's supposed to have like a top piece too, but I would only really need the skirt. Um, so I'm really tempted. So I don't know. I might get her. It depends on the price because I really like her. Um, she's just like her face and the color of her hair. She's like really pretty. Um, so yeah, and then these two pieces, I asked the same people, like, do you know who these go to? Because <laughs> I really like them, but I would feel bad if I just took them, but not the doll that they go to, if the doll is in here, you know? So I'm not scared about it. Um, but now I wanted to look through these clothes, not to be confused with these ones, um, just to see if there's anything that catches my attention that I would like to have for my collection of Disney style series. Um, just something that I'm either missing or that I think would be cute in a restyle, you know? Um, cause like this is so, this is such an invaluable resource to have access to, just doll clothes, this is hilarious. <laughs> um, it's really cool. But I feel like people pick through this relatively often who know what they're looking for, cause I never really find anything at this particular store, um, in the doll clothes section. I found things a couple times that I really enjoyed or that I needed, but look at this. Is this from, um, is this a Wally Wisher? Am I... Yeah, <laughs> I was like, it looks kind of small, but I think it goes to a Lily Witcher. Um, yeah, nothing speaking to me in here. Is this, what does this go to? It's Elsa, but it's like, is it like a knockoff for a different type of doll or something? I don't know. It's unusual. I'm not saying knockoff because I think it looks like a knockoff. I'm just saying I can't think of any um, Elsa dolls that are that size. What did that say? Property of Tim. I want this. Yeah, what want does that mean? Life size for me. So everyone knows I'm property of Tim. I need that. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. But I love it. Look, that goes to the Barbie color reveal that I just got. Like, literally just opened her yesterday, actually. Um, ooh. Junior High Poopy's backpack. I don't need another one, but I'm tempted. But somebody else can find it and be really excited. In fact, these are, these should be in here. Make it easier for someone to find later. Um, um, I don't really see anything that's speaking to me today. A mermaid tail of some sort. Um, yeah. I was like, just thinking like, in a magical scenario, the pieces that I'm missing from these guys would just be in there. <laughs> but it's wishful thinking. And then there's also the accessories area, which, again, I'm not knowledgeable enough on Barbie to, unless I found Fairytopia shoes, because those are something that I'm always looking for. Um, these are actually really, really, really cute. Um, I don't know what I'm looking at usually. These are my scene. Um, unless it's something that I specifically collect, like my scene. There's a lot of really cute ones in here, like little platforms and stuff. Um, but look, I could get. Because my totally, or I found another shoe for totally hair Barbie actually, but if I could find two matching shoes instead of these ones that slightly don't match, that would be cool. And then also her, she's supposed to have little pink shoes too, so maybe I could find them shoes. Um, it doesn't have to be their exact shoes, like I'm not, I'm not picky enough. Are these gem and holograms, I swear they have like weirdly large feet, right? Um, if I'm right about that, I'm gonna... Dang, it's so funny. You see the same, like, Barbie shoes a hundred times, you know? But as soon as I'm looking for them, it's like, goodbye, they are gone. Oh, cute. They're like little espadrilles. I'm actually getting those. I love those. Um, this is Lil's pet shop. This Adventure to Guess is Bratz doll. Just because it looks like it, but I don't know. 
I with brats the the purses I'm like I can't do it I can't it's too much um dang there's none of these hot pink shoes but I think what I'm gonna do um is I'm gonna ask if I can take these little pink shoes out of here and get them oh, look at that okay I want should I just buy the bag I think I'm just gonna buy the bag like I really like every single shoe in here um and I assume they just haven't been separated yet. Like, I love this shape of shoe, which there's a bunch in here, so. I'll be getting those. That's cute. Cute. Okay, I need to clean up all of my mess that I made on the floor because I hear a child. <laughs> so, All right, Bye. I'm off the floor. I feel bad about that. I've left a lot of glitter, um, but I managed to identify a lot of them and even the ones that I'm not getting. Oh, that's a pretty baby. Um, look how many LOL cars there are. And that is a Barbie Mustang. I just had one that was like a convertible when I was a kid that I'd love to have back because I don't think I have it anymore but I also don't remember getting rid of it so I don't know um and then I already looked through there I'm so tempted by the little angel they're so cute and then we have American Girl sized stuff which I always just like to peek at because my American Girls do not have a lot of clothes but I'm also very picky what does that go to MB I don't know um, but I'm pretty picky with my American Girls like oh my god that's so cute but it's not American Girl size I'm pretty picky with what I have them wear um, I don't know. This is American Girl. I think this goes to Mia, actually. This is American Girl. It's pretty easy to tell because they'll have an American Girl tag in them. Which is why it sucks when you go to the thrift store and, like, they're in a bag so you can't check. Because sometimes you're like, oh, that looks familiar. Our Generation candy, that's cute. Um, it's mainly our Generation clothes in here. But I actually like a lot of our Generation clothes and I would purchase them. Like this. I actually am going to get that because it's really cute. This is adorable. Okay, and then we've got doll furniture, which, um, oh, look at this. The American Girl accessory section. This is so funny to me because they would just, their butt would just fall right through. Is this American Girl? I like that little purse. That is pretty cute. I don't have any that would like match that though. Kind of want the travel pillow. But until I have like space for a dollhouse and stuff, I don't want to like over invest in this kind of stuff, you know? What is this? Like, actually, I can't figure it out. Oh, it's a bird. It's a bird. Very cute. What if I just found that turtle that I want so bad, Brett? Remember the turtle? What if it was just in here for me? And then my life was like, it had purpose again. If I found that turtle. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. That's the doll room for today, guys. Tune in in Lord knows how long when I return. I can just look this up, but I realized I said earlier that I was confused about the variation here because I, I'm used to this dress. But look, this they're both 2000 Millennium Barbies. I assume this is Holiday Barbie that year and this is Millennium Barbie. But I thought Millennium Barbie was the Holiday Barbie. I'll just look it up. But anyway, I'm definitely getting her because she's like really cool. I really love this outfit and like her face is really... Like I've never had a doll with that screening before. It's really beautiful. And then I'm kind of tempted by this one too. She's like really, really pretty. Um, and then this one I'm also kind of tempted by because I have the other two variants of this doll, so it'd be kind of neat to have the full set. Um, I really like her face too. I don't know. I'm tempted. We're at the thrift store. What's the music they're playing? You don't know. It's just kind of going to be a disaster because there were children, like, actually throwing things that kept hitting me and, like, bothering me, so sorry about that. <laughs> um, not yet, though. It happens later. Um, but grab her. Forgot her name, but... Um, lots of friends are always looking for those ones, and I'm just looking through here, and I found a doll that I would have bought, this Uma, but she, she's missing her hat, but that's fine, but she's actually $20 for some reason, which is a little much, I think, for the thrift store, I don't, but whatever, um, but you can see tons of different doll play sets and things, I just noticed that couch, I should have looked closer at that, that looked really interesting, um, and then that aisle doesn't really concern me but I do if you see me walk past something and not check it on camera I check it off camera I just um yeah it's so funny how many um of those hair amazings end up at thrift stores because they're really nice dolls I wonder why I don't know um because you'll find them fully dressed for like more than they sell for at Walmart sometimes because they're really nice quality dolls so that I think the thrift store employees get fooled by that uh yeah <laughs> you know me that's mine that's for me <laughs> cannot avoid those and then um, I think this is when the child started, like, actually trying to communicate with me, and that's why I cut away, so. Yeah, whoops. It's, 
There's the fashion fairy tale Barbie, who to me kind of looks like a knockoff doll. Am I just mean, or do y'all see what I'm talking about? Um, and then just keep looking, all the different dolls. Really, really cool. Um, yeah, there was like a really good selection today. Lots of interesting stuff. And then some little babies and things. There's often little babies at this one. Oh, and I, of course, I grabbed this Bratz Kids Chloe. I wouldn't have grabbed her if she was nude, probably, but I wanted her shoes. I like Bratz Kids, and she had a dress that I wanted, so all in all, very good. And it's really cool that this store will have doll clothes in the bags like that, um, but never really Barbie clothes. I assume they get bought pretty quickly. So this doll, maybe I'm going to regret leaving behind, but was that like a fashion fever or something? She's so familiar to me. And the clothes, too. But I ended up leaving her just because I was like, mm, I'm not sure how much I like that one. Because um, her outfit wasn't complete enough for me to be like, yeah. I don't know. Um, who's back here? Who am I going for? Ah, Mariposa. I grabbed her because you guys know I have her, but I don't have all her stuff. And then continuing. That Elsa has been through a lot. <laughs> and yeah. There's a mermaid here. I thought she was pretty, but I left her behind. There's a row. I actually just watched Island Princess for the first time ever, but I remember that, and on the island, the sea says hello song. I remember that really well from my childhood, and I didn't realize it was from the movie, so I got, like, shell-shocked when I heard it. I assume it was in the commercial um, when I was a kid, but the movie was actually kind of good. Pacing was awful, though. Like, you don't get... Nothing is let to ruminate. Oh my god, that doll. Uh, she's a knockoff. I have no idea what she is. I thought she was very pretty, and funny enough, Brett pointed her out specifically, like, oh, do you know what this doll is? Why didn't you grab her? And I was like, oh, you know, like, I... Although I think she's very pretty, I don't think I would have, like, done anything with her, you know? I think she would have sat in a bin. Uh, why didn't I buy the bag with the Sophie the First stuff? I don't know. Um, but anyway, I was like, I think she would just sit in a bin, so I don't want to just, like, buy her just to doom her to sit in a bin, you know? Um, but then today, this morning, someone texted me on Instagram who happens to live in the area that this thrift store is in and was like, hey, do you know what this doll is? Like, could you help me identify her? And it was that doll, like, that exact doll at this exact thrift store. I was like, oh, my God. So if you're watching this, there's the proof the <laughs> that I saw that doll a few days ago. So she's been waiting around there. She's just, she was really pretty, but I don't know. I didn't think that I would end up doing that much with her. And yeah, so Questor Girl Sunset Shimmer. I do already have that one, so I left her behind. Just, like, a really good variety today, mostly from that doll's face was really pretty. If anybody knows who she is, please let me know. Um, I feel like we're going to have a lot of Barbie experts. Uh, to con we, We're going to need to consult a lot of Barbie experts today, <laughs> for sure. Um, yeah, all right, bye. Okay, y'all, sorry, I couldn't film over here. I've been looking through, but look. Are you kidding me? I already have her, but she's Minty, and I have a Minty army, so um, yay, because G4 Minty's actually pretty hard to find. And then they have this Equestria Girls Celestia too, but I do already have that one. That's the one that came as a bonus with Equestria Girls. And then when I look through these two, I'm probably going to get um, some more little bags, but I'll show you in the haul, because it's just not sustainable to film in here. I know it's like and now it's time for the haul. So I'm just going to show you all the stuff that I bought in no particular order. I'm really excited because a lot of this stuff is unusual for me. It's stuff that I it just caught my eye today and I was really excited about it. So I grabbed it. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So the first doll, this one is really, really cool. So if you saw in the footage, there was a pile of um, Barbies that were still attached to their back card. They were $10 each. I could have just bought them all, you know, um, but I don't like to buy up all the dolls, even if it's like, oh my god, that's an amazing deal. Unless they're dolls that I, like, really, really feel like I connected with at the time, I don't buy them. Um, so I know I'm gonna get comments like, you should have bought those, but, like, you know, I just wasn't really feeling them that day for some reason. But anyway, I bought two of them, and this is one of them. So this is the Romantic Interlude Barbie, and I just don't have any dolls with a face sculpt at all like this one, and she has rooted eyelashes, and I just thought she was really, really beautiful. So, of course, I'm gonna be taking these off their back cards. Uh, she is missing one of the facets on her dress, or, sorry, the facets there. The, the jewel that goes in the facet is actually missing, so I will be installing another one, hopefully, at some point, if I can find that size of rhinestone I guess um but she was just so pretty I really like this one and I don't really have any Barbies in period dresses so this one's kind of unique for my collection I guess and I really like that her dress is like velvet this isn't actually a panel it goes all the way around whoa it has the designer like a signature from the designer on the tag that is so cute and then some little boots I really like this era that they were doing these collector dolls that were 
I don't know if you would call this one Playline Collector, but they were like stocked in regular retail stores. And in this era, they did a ton of them that are all like really, really nice. So I was super excited about this one. And yeah, not a doll that I think I've seen before. I think I've seen one of the variants before. Like she was vaguely familiar to me, but this variant I was not familiar with. Okay, the next one is the other doll I bought from that pile. I fell in love with this doll. So this is the Tangerine Twist Barbie. Every single detail of this doll is just divine. I love this dress. It's so different from any other Barbie that I have ever seen before. And I just thought it was so cool. Look at this, like, it's got the little skirt. It even has these little rhinestone facets again that you saw in that other doll. I really love the, is it leopard print or cheetah print? The cat print. I can never tell them apart. I, I think one doesn't have the little brown color inside of the black dots or so, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but off the top of my head, I don't know, sorry. But isn't she so pretty? And her face, I don't know what face sculpt this is, um, or if it's just that the screening style is different, but she's just really, really strikingly beautiful. And I love her um, eyelashes too. I love the rooted eyelashes. They're so delicate. I feel like a lot of doll companies now can't grasp like what rooted eyelashes kind of, how to make them look good. But Mattel in this, I think these are either late 90s or early 2000s. I'm going to say early 2000s for these. In the early 2000s when I was a kid, like the Fairytopia dolls that had the rooted eyelashes, like they all just looked so good. And these two dolls both, like the eyelashes are not obtrusive. You can't even tell that they're there unless you're really looking and they just add like a lot to the dolls. And I'm saying like you can't tell that they're there, not that you can't see the effect that they're giving, but you can't like, you're not just like, oh, rooted eyelashes, there they are, you know? It's it's subtle and I think it's really, really pretty. And I don't think they always need to be subtle, but in on these two dolls, like they needed to be subtle and they were. And I just thought she was so cute. She just has so many cool accessories. Like look at her little shoes and her little gloves and her darling little purse. So this is Tangerine Twist Barbie. And I thought she was so nice. I wonder if she came with a stand or not. I imagine so. There's something missing from right here, but I don't know. These two were $10 each. So I was very, very happy with that. I was like, yeah, I'll take them. They're adorable. All right. And then this bag. I'm going to need some help with some stuff in this bag because I bought a few pieces that I just thought were really cute. And so basically what happened was I was sitting, um, going through Barbie stuff and the store owner was like, cause she knows I collect dolls and we talk a lot. She was like, Oh, I actually got this lot and I'm saving it for you because it's a bag of Barbies. And I was like, okay. Um, and they were all late eighties, early nineties ones. I believe I'm not hundred percent sure of the time period, but that's kind of what they look like. And I don't particularly collect that time period, um, but I do like them. So I was like, I will pick out the ones that I like. I'll put the clothes. So I actually put all the ones that I could identify. I put their clothes on them if their clothes were in there so that it would be easier for her down the road. And yeah, so let me show you the dolls that I got. So this one, I can't say the name of this doll because Mattel named her something offensive, but um, this is an Esmeralda from Mattel. And I did not have this one. And... I would like to have this one, so I'm pretty excited. I am missing a few pieces, so she did come with a crown of some sort that was really pretty. Just realizing this is stuck in here. Um, she has this... Is this meant to just come down from the skirt? I think so. I think you're supposed to close the Velcro and then these hang down. Um, she definitely needs some work. Like, she's pretty messy in her hair. Um, it's connect line, and it's kind of done the Kanekalon thing that it does over time. And she does have some seams that I think have ripped, but she's just so pretty. And I've never had this doll before. I have two of the other version of Giselle, or <laughs> Giselle. Sorry, I was thinking about Giselle earlier. I was talking to Brett about Giselle. Um, oh, she's missing, I think she had like six bracelets. So she only has one of them left, which is pretty cool that she had that because it wasn't on the doll. It was actually just in the bag. Um, and she's missing a crown and the crown is really cool. So I'd like to have that maybe someday, but I don't know. I just think maybe someday I'll find it. And I just thought she was really pretty. So I wanted to grab her. And yeah, so definitely need to fix her up. I can do a video fixing up these Barbies if you're interested, all of these ones. Well, she's not a Barbie, but it is a Mattel doll. Um, this one I was so excited about and then I was so bummed. So this is, I forgot the name of the line, sorry. Um, but it's one of the mermaid doll lines and I actually hadn't heard about these ones for some reason. Um, Cause I was thinking of the like jewel mermaid and stuff, but that's not what this one is. This is just, if, if it is that, I'm sorry. I was thinking of another one. Um, but these ones all had, colorful hair, which is unusual for dolls in general during this time period, you know? Um, some lines would do it, but overall it was mostly natural hair colors, so it's really cool to see this pink. And I love this pink. I think it's gonna look so good when I wash it out. And she just has the sweetest little face. Look at her. And I was so bummed that her top wasn't in here, but I figured I could find the top because dolls from this era in particular aren't super hard to find. And I just, I was really connected with her. Like I, I got attached to her the minute I saw her, so I had to grab her. 
Um, I could have given her, there was a pink top that could have worked as her swimsuit top just as a placeholder, but there it went to another doll that the seller still had, you know, so I didn't want to separate them and screw over the seller. So um, I just grabbed her like this and she's so cute. I don't know if I have any tops that'll be suitable for her, so she probably won't be able to go on display until I find one, but it's okay. It sucked. Most of the dolls that I was super interested in did not have their stuff. So like that Locket Barbie, I really wanted that one, but she didn't have her stuff. And I just found out there's more. It's not just Locket Surprise Barbie. There's the other characters too, and they're all gorgeous. <sighs> and that one was iconic enough to have a McDonald's toy, and I had literally never heard of that one before in my life, so that's cool. And then um, there was also the... Western Barbie, I don't remember what she was called, but her spurs were like stamp rollers. Or, were they spurs or were they just like the heels of the boot? I don't know, but I want that one. I wanted that one, but she only had one shoe and she was missing her shorts or it was like a skirt, I think. She was missing too much. So I was like, oh, dang it. Um, anyway, the next doll I got, I had to because I don't have this one, but this is totally hair Barbie. I think this is going to be an extremely fun doll to restore because wow, does she need it? <laughs> um, and yeah, so she's missing, I'm pretty sure this doll came with like a belt of some sort and she's missing a ring or was it a headpiece? She comes with something um, other than this, but I, I'm happy displaying her like this. She has her earrings. Uh, these aren't her shoes, but I got her two not matching pig shoes, but it's better than nothing. And she looks so cute. And I love connect one hair and this actually still is showing the crimp. So as long as I don't boil it, the crimp will stay, which I'm pretty excited about. So yeah. And luckily this piece, which would be the hardest piece for me to deal with because I'm just so bad with bangs on dolls, it's still perfectly in place. So I just have to be careful not to move it when I wash her. But yeah, this is a really cute doll. And for somehow I've never had her. So now I do. And I thought she was beautiful. Yeah, a lot of you guys, when I go to thrift stores and I don't pick up the dolls from this era that I find, you always comment. So this one's for you guys. I just, I wanted to pick up like very specific ones that I was very interested in. And this was one of those times where it was like, okay, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to identify them, see which ones I like. Um, this one, I don't know what it was because this outfit is not one that I would normally gravitate towards, but it's so charmingly of its era. And I have some My Little Ponies that would display so well with her. I'm thinking about displaying these dolls in this room because I have my vintage My Little Ponies in here and they kind of, they're from the same time period. I don't know. Um, but I just thought she was really interesting and I liked her dress. I mean, I liked her skirt, I liked her belt, and I liked her shirt. But it's actually a dress, which is kind of heinous, but it's okay. Um, I thought her her face was really pretty. I really like her hair. I'm pretty sure this is just Barbie. Um, when I was looking it up to figure out what doll this was, I was looking up Midge, but that wasn't working. So I just looked up red hair Barbie, and she came up. And on the packaging, I didn't see the name Midge, but I might not have looked closely enough. So I don't know. I don't remember what this doll was called. <laughs> Maybe like tropical something. I have no idea. Um, but I thought she was really pretty. This was one of the ones where she was in the give back to the store pile, but I was like, wait, I actually really like you. I want to get you, I think. So I grabbed her. Um, she, I just couldn't stay away from her. It's the Kanekalon hair, y'all. Like these have Kanekalon hair. I love Kanekalon hair and I'm in danger because when I was trying to identify these dolls, I saw so many beautiful dolls. I've just been avoiding the era because I just don't have enough knowledge about it. And I'm focused more on like the early 2000s right now, but <sighs> well, here we are. Here we are. Anyway. The next doll is really, really cool. So this is Hula Hair Barbie, who is a very iconic doll of this era. And I grabbed her because of the colorful Kanekalon hair, because I love colorful Kanekalon hair. So you can see the pink, the orange, the yellow, and she still has her like factory hairstyle in place, which is pretty cool. And her little swimsuit is all there. The grass skirt came off, um, but it's still all in good shape. And I'm pretty sure she has everything. I, I'm sure she's missing some little thing, but look, she has this thing, she has her earrings, she has her grass skirt, like, pretty cool. So, that was a fun one, and I think she will display very well with this particular doll. And they're so cute, so I was really happy about these ones. I think the faces on these dolls are very, very pretty. Uh, there's some older Barbie... I like this joint a lot, like, you guys know I love a waist joint and a chest joint especially, but it's a little too loose on this particular doll, I think, um, considering especially that she doesn't have clothes to help keep her, like, structure. Uh, she's pretty loosey-goosey, but maybe this was elastic and it just has loosened over time, I don't know. Um, but there's some older Barbies that I'm not on the, like, I'm not super into the faces for, but I actually super like all of the ones that I grabbed, so... Woohoo! And then I think that's all of the Barbies, but I also grabbed two more things from the bag, and I'm really hoping they don't go to any dolls in there, but if they do, I will go back and buy the dolls if they're still there. Uh, so I grabbed this dress. I couldn't figure out who this went to, but I thought that it was such a cute piece. Right? I don't know. It's just... It gives me, like, a retro future type of vibe. I really like it. 
don't know. I love it. It's it, I've never seen anything like this. And red and purple together is a strange combo. It's almost like an orange, like a it's a really bright color. And I like this little thing that's on here and this chain belt and the structure of the dress is very cute. I don't know. I really like this. So if this does go to one of the other dolls, I'll go back. <laughs> um, okay. And then here, this I grabbed. I couldn't figure out who this went to either, but I was in love with it. It's this cape thing. And I don't even know how you would get your doll to wear it if it's even for a doll. Oh, I see. Okay, there's Velcro right here. So you would put it around your doll's neck. Let me put it on the mermaid, actually. I think that would be really cute. And it's possible... Oh, the layer just fell. Um, it's possible it's like a fashion pack or something. I really could not find who it belonged to. And I asked a couple of people who had DM'd me who could identify that locket Barbie. And they did not recognize the pieces either off the top of their heads, or at least at the time. So, I don't know. But I grabbed them. It's just that I didn't want to grab any clothing pieces without confirming that they didn't go to any of the dolls, you know, because I didn't want to be that guy. Um, but anyway, how cute is this? It doesn't really suit her specifically, but it would probably if her hair was fixed. But anyway, this is super, super cute. So I'm very happy that I grabbed it. I can't wait to use that in a restyle of some sort. I think it's precious. Uh, I just love wintry stuff like that. And then I grabbed these Bratz pillows. I think there's three of them or two of them because... I hope that I can find the funky fashion furniture someday, and this stuff probably goes to the funky fashion furniture, and they're very cute. Just really, really cute dollhouse throw pillows. Yay! This would be the most hellish pillow to use. Like, imagine that texture all night on your head. Ugh. <laughs> anyway, okay. Next, I bought this bag of little accessories because there were a lot of really cute shoes in here that I thought I could use with these dolls and also other dolls in my collection. Because for some reason I keep saying like, oh, I have plenty of shoes and I do have a lot of doll shoes, but like I won't have simple things that I need. Like I needed little hot pink shoes for the Totally Hair Barbie and for this girly. So um, I thought this would be a good bag to grab because it had a ton of really cute shoes in it. Um, like these are very cute. Uh, this killed me. If you know who these shoes go to, please let me know. It's so cute. And then did these go to a doll or were they just in there? Cause maybe the kid had them, but I bought them because I thought they would be fun for restyles. I think that this is a Mycene shoe. Um, I don't know. This bag just had a lot of cool stuff. Oh, and I found this Polly Pocket in that bag. So, um, it, that Polly will get to stay with her friends forever. They'll live in my house and it will be great. And I have two Pollys or maybe just one. I think it's just one. I have a Polly from when I was a kid that I'm pretty sure as a kid I stole that from my mom's friends. So I am sorry that I did that. Patricia. <laughs> I'm sorry, but um, I still have her to this day and I love her. So. <laughs> okay. And then next I bought these little shoes. This was $2 for this bag, but these are darling. If you know who these go to, please let me know, but I'll just be giving them to some Barbie that a Barbie in need. And then I bought this shirt. I think it's our generation. Um, I don't know if there's a tag on this one. Um, I have no idea what it goes to, but it's just a very simple shirt and it will fit my American Girl dolls. And I think it's really, really pretty. And it's like a nice basic shirt. And my American Girl dolls are fighting for their lives. They never get to change their shirts out. So we're we're trying, we're, we are trying for them, but I'm very picky with American Girl clothes a lot of the time. Um, and then I got this shirt because I was just baffled by it. Me and Brett were laughing really hard at it. It just says property of Tim. If anybody knows what this goes to, please let me know. But if you could do it in riddle form, that would be great. Or you could just say what it belongs to. But imagine if I have to go on a little bit more of a wild goose chase to find it. That would be fun. <laughs> okay. And then this I bought because this is one of the Poopsie Unicorns. And I don't have anything from the Poopsie Unicorns. And this, if you didn't know, was actually what became Rainbow High. And I don't really like the big ones that I see at thrift stores all the time. The ones that dance and stuff. But these ones, these little sitting ones, were actually quite hard to find. Because when they came out, I was actually looking for them. Um, Lookin' Brat's Dom has a bunch of them. And I was very jealous. <laughs> um, but look how cute! I really like the design of this one. Um, I wasn't super into, again, the, the designs of the other ones, but these are so cute. They even have these wings. So pretty and really nice nylon hair, gorgeous inset eyes. So I'm just gonna wash her hair out, get her all done up, and then display her with my Rainbow High dolls. I think she's super cute. There were there was like a whole rainbow of these and they're beautiful. I just never saw them in stores. I think maybe I saw them in stores once. Was it like a five below or something? I have a vague memory of seeing them once, but I didn't buy them because I'm stupid, and now I regret it. Uh, anyway, next we have some LOL pets, because I love LOL pets. So I think this one has a color change feature of some sort. I forgot that that's a thing with LOLs. Um, I just, 
I like the other little pets. I like most of them, but I'm mainly going to be grabbing the cat ones. So I grabbed these two because I think that they're cats. This is my favorite one, I think. But I just, the LOL pets speak to me. The LOL tots are very cute, but I don't know enough about them to be able to buy them at thrift stores because I don't really want to buy them if they don't have their clothes and stuff. They don't have to be complete, but having like their outfit so that it's like the character that was intended would be great, you know? Um, so generally I don't buy them at thrift stores unless I just see one that I think is really, really adorable. But with the pets, grab them. They don't need their outfits grab them i always grab them i love them so that store is really fun because they generally get quite a few in and then i've grabbed some littlest pet shops for your consideration i was just dealing with my littlest pet shops putting them on display so i'm really excited because some of these are some like slightly older pets that i didn't already have so this is one of the like 2012 ish era ones this turtle i really like that um some of the pets from this era i can't stand but some of them are absolutely gorgeous so that's one of the ones i really like and then we got this hummingbird, who I don't think I've ever seen before. A lot of these are super dirty. Uh, I got this guy. So this is from that era where they started doing the colors, or not the colors, the, so this is the hungriest pet, because you can see the, like, cookie with a bite out of it in the eyes. Strange era, but I, I mean, the marketing worked on me. I thought it was fun. Um, and then we have this pelican, which is after this era, even though it looks more like one of the older pets from, like, the first era of these. Um, like, this one looks like one of the first era of these, but it has the LPS tag on the back, so that means it's older. Or, sorry, newer. It means it's newer. This one has... God, I don't remember what that one meant. There was, like, messiest, which would be a little blob in the eye. There was sassiest, I think, which was, like, a little diamond. There were a bunch of them. I thought it was fun at the time when I was a child. Um, this guy has the LPS tag, so he's a little bit newer. And then this guy also has the LPS tag, so he's a little bit newer. And they didn't start using the sculpt until later because it was one of the special edition sculpts and then they kept using it. Uh, so yeah, so that's that bag. A lot of new friends in it. I love Littlest Pet Shops so much. And they they were really hard to find at thrift stores for a while, so I didn't really get to add any of my collection for a hot minute. But now they keep coming into my life and I am so grateful. I love Littlest Pet Shops and... Um, I'll, like, I don't ever think I'm gonna have them all, and that's not, like, a realistic goal or anything, but anytime I find one that I don't have, I want that, you know? I'm just gonna grab them. I think they're super fun, so, um, I really appreciate that, um, everywhere that I've lived now, I have managed to find a thrift store location that consistently gets little pet shops in and doesn't price them stupid, and I am so grateful. <laughs> I am so grateful, because usually people will price those things up so high, even though, truly, the only pets that people will pay that for get bought up first anyway, and you're not, like... I don't know. I don't like it. But all of the I've I've just interacted with so many wonderful people who truly just care about toys and spreading them around. And they're of course they're still making money. It's a business. And I want them to make money off of it so that they can continue the business and also live their life. But they're fair with their prices and I super appreciate that. Um okay, so this next bag. Oh, well, there's actually a surprise in here that I get to show you. I don't think I filmed this thrift trip. I'm pretty sure my phone was dead, but we'll see. Uh these I actually bought on Mercari. So these are by a company called Lennard or L Lannard. I don't know how you would say it. I always think of it like lanyard, but without the Y. So it's Lannard, right? Or Lennard. I don't know. Um, but these are fairykins, mermaid fairykins. I fell in love with them. I bought them on Mercari. I will kill to have the full set of these because um, there's also fairies. They're so cute. And I knew about them, but I hadn't really like done much research on them or anything. But yeah, I decided to buy them because I thought that they were super cute. So if you're ever looking for something obscure like this, by the way, because I was having trouble finding these for good prices, try Mercari. I'll put a link in the description. It's my referral link. I think we both get like, uh, I know you get something and I get something, but I'm sure it'll tell you on the registration page. But I paid $30 for all six of these and I'm pretty sure that is retail, if not less than original retail. So I'm happy. <laughs> that was a good find. Um, and Brett just put those in there to get them out of the living room, I guess. Okay. So the next bag, this was from America's Thrift Store. And again, I don't think I filmed this, but if I did, you will have seen it. Um, this is Chanel. I paid $5 for her. And yeah, what a very strange and lucky find, huh? Uh, she, she looks like she was pretty well played with. Like her hair was taken down and it doesn't have the crease in it either. So that means that it's been taken down for a while and there's no gel. So maybe washed out if she had gel in her hair to begin with. I don't 100% recall. Um, and she has like her other outfit on. I don't know. She looks like she was well loved. I don't know why she was there, but it happens. 
and now she will be loved in my collection. She'll either be customized or just wear another outfit and restyled on display. I'm not sure, but I really love Chanel, so I'm happy to have another one. So, yay! Welcome home, darling. Super soft hair. It just needs washed, because uh, I don't know the full history of the doll, you know, so you're gonna wash them off. Yeah. Um, okay, then we have this bag, which has... This was $4, and I bought it because I had to go through the checkout line anyway. I don't know who this Chloe is, but she needs help. If you know who she is, please let me know. But she also has Kiana's original skirt, which is kind of cool to see. So now it haunts me. Like, what if if I had gone to the thrift store sooner? I could have gotten the original Kiana. <laughs> um, but there's also a Mattel Ariel, an original Mattel Ariel in here. Not like original, original, but from the original run of Mattel dolls, which went for a long time. Um, this one's around 2009, probably. And then, or maybe not, maybe this is 2012. I don't know. Um, and then this is just a Barbie, like a modern Barbie. One of the thousand millies. <laughs> okay, that was that bag. And then last, this bag. So this is from an America's Thrift store, just like the last stuff. So this, the Chanel and everything was also from America's Thrift, but these were from Mercari. But anyway, this bag is also from America's Thrift. You will see footage of this store. But, okay, I was, like, on the verge of, like, <laughs> panicking the entire time because there were these children just screaming and, like, throwing things, and it was just so difficult to browse. So I'm sorry if I'm, like, shaky at all in the footage. It was just, like, not a situation that I was very comfortable in. Um, I'm fine with children having fun, but not when it's, like, causing problems. Whatever. Anyway. Okay. So this doll was out of the bag, but I grabbed her because I have lots of friends who are looking for these particular, like beach omg dolls and they're so cute so i grabbed her i don't remember this one's name i don't remember like any other names <laughs> um but she's one of the ones without the articulation i've never actually seen the ones with articulation but i actually really like these unarticulated ones and i know <laughs> that might sound weird but um, as long as they don't do it for all of the omgs i'm happy with it but i just the arms are such a cute sculpt like i don't know something about it is so like elegant and pretty on these uh but i got her for 99 cents because she wasn't in a bag and the the thrift store lady was like, oh, what was the price on this one? And I was like, oh, honestly, like, I don't know. Could you, like, scan one of the other dolls? Like, I don't mind. I'll pay whatever. And then she went and got her manager, and she was like, 99 cents? And I was like, that's less than any other doll, but sure. That, I appreciate that, yes. Okay, this, I was so excited when I found this, but I was not filming because of the situation. Um, I might have filmed, like, to show it for a second, but... ASMR. <laughs> uh, G3 Minty and... Oh, crap, I forgot that one's name. <laughs> the art artsy fartsy pony from G3. I actually have that one. Mine's not in the best condition, so this one might be better than mine. She wasn't a childhood pony. She was when I got to the thrift store. But, oh my gosh, look, her hair's rubber banded together, too. I love this pony. This was one of my favorites. It's like, Dibble Dabble is one, and I'm thinking of that one. But that's the purple one with the art symbol and the little gen. This is another one, and I can't believe I don't remember her name right now. Um, but how cute. It died. So I had a chance to look up the pony. Her name is Finger Paints. So I don't know if my memory is just not serving me correctly here, but I don't remember that name even a little bit, like not even slight rec recollection of it. So maybe I just made up a name for her. I have no idea. But I got her when I was like a teenager. So I would think I would look up the name. No clue. But I specifically remember like bringing this doll to middle school. Probably early high school now that I think about it. But anyway, I like, I fishtail braided her hair when I learned how to do that. Like I really love that pony. Anyway, um... G4 Minty. Mine is not in good condition. This one's in much better condition. This pony's actually quite rare. And if you don't know my story behind how I became a toy collector, because I don't actually say this one very often because it's My Little Pony related, I only say how I became a doll collector. How I became a toy collector is that My Little Pony G4 had come out and I was really interested in watching like younger kids media, younger kids media in general at the time. So I had gotten into Wings Club in like 2009. I'd gotten into... Um, just a lot of different things like watching the G3 My Little Pony show. So when G4 My Little Pony came out in 2010, I like watched it and I was really enjoying it, but I wasn't super into toys or anything. Um, I, I, I still love My Little's Pet Shops. That was my thing. Um, but I, I just kind of had like a year where I was a normal child for a minute. I was like reading books. I, I always read books, but you know, I wasn't collecting toys. <laughs> um, but anyway, I was tracking the G4 toys because I thought they were quite cute, but none of the, I mean, I liked them, but again, I'm, I'm not into toys. Although at some point I had 
discovered that like people collected My Little Ponies, older people collected My Little Ponies, so G1s and G3s, and that was, I had a collection of G3s from when I was a kid, and thankfully we still had them, so I went and got them, they were like in the garage or something, I don't know, um, and I put them on these little shelves in my room, I actually, <laughs> we had these DVD shelves that were in the media room, and like, I was like, nobody ever goes in the media room, so I stole those shelves, I just took all the DVDs off and put them on the floor, and put the shelves in my closet so that I could put my My Little Ponies up. <laughs> don't do that just ask your parents if they have extra shelves somewhere or something um, i don't know why i did that um well i just wanted them on display so bad and then i posted pictures on my facebook so i can tell the exact day that this happened which is so cool um but and that's just how excited i was about it and then uh i was tracking like on a my little pony forum like when these were coming out and minty was found on taobao which is a chinese shopping website and minty was found i didn't buy one because i was like 12 11 or 12 and i didn't know how <laughs> But, you know, she's gonna release soon, and because of my naivete, I was just like, oh, she'll just come out, so we just have to keep checking stores. So I checked for a long time, and I never found her, and finally my mom was just like, if you want the My Little Ponies, just tell me, I'll buy them, like, what are you looking for? I just wanted Minty, and I was like, no, no, like, she's coming out soon, because the prototype was seen, or not the prototype, but, like, factory samples, but she didn't end up coming out for years after that, years. So by then, when that set came out, because it was a multi-pack, I was just like, I'll wait to buy it and then I never bought it and then I found my minty at a thrift store in 2018 I think and then I just found this one so anyway that's it's similar it actually mirrors my story of how I became a Winx Club collector and a Monster High collector right because I was looking for a specific character and that was my foot in the door but I never found the character <laughs> and then I moved on from there um but yeah so this pony's just really special to me and I have an army in my Little Pony collecting, there's something called making an army, and that's basically having a group of your favorite ponies. So I have a bunch of Minties, so it's cool to have a double of G4 Minty so that I can have an army of her too. Uh, and then there's two bootlegs. These aren't the particular type of bootlegs that I generally keep, so these are going to be redonated. Um, not that they're not like great ponies or anything, but I have so many ponies that it, it has to be like a really, really nice bootlegger invitation for me to keep, like one that I really enjoy. So those ones will be redonated, and hopefully somebody else can enjoy them. Okay, and then. Hi, Peggy, if you're watching. I got you some Zuzu pets. Okay, and then, <laughs> oh my God, you never guessed what I bought for $4 at the thrift store. What do you think? Is it another Series 1 Sunny? <laughs> they, they were like, I screw this. I can't figure out how to put her pants back on. I'm done. That's my story behind how she got there. Uh, but yeah, I have this thing. Uh, this is an, an army situation, like the My Little Pony armies. Um, <laughs> I've got an army <laughs> of Series 1 Sunnies, so yay. I really like Series 1 Sunny. She is just really, really beautiful, and I like all the different variants that have emerged of her. Specifically, the second batch variant is, like, really, really beautiful. This is a second batch, I'm pretty sure, because she doesn't have the neck articulation, but I'd have to double check with the code on her foot. They have a little code on their foot, which will tell you their batch code, which is great because otherwise you'd have to know it from the box, which was really stressful for me because if I threw away the box without checking the batch code, I would be like gutted and devastated, um, but it's on the feed. Um, yeah, she has one earring and her pants and her hair is really, really messy, but we will fix it. And yeah, so one of my many Sunny dolls. I really like using them as bases for customs, but also just having them and playing with them and restyling them. Series one Sunny is just my favorite. So I'm gonna grab her every time. And she's very common. She must've been popular because there's a lot of her. Oh, I grabbed this one because I, I love a Brat doll. This doll was $3, and this is a Bratz Kids doll. I don't really find Bratz Kids very often, and I actually super like them. Oh, she's... Is that how their arms normally are? I don't know. I don't have a lot of Bratz Kids. So this is so funny, because her top is actually Diamond's Fianna's. Maybe there was another doll that came with it, but for me, my two childhood Bratz were Diamond's Fianna and um, Dynamite Megan. So... This top is very cool to me, and this one is in much better condition than the one I had as a kid. And she has the original shoes from one of the Diamonds dolls. I don't know which one, um, but that's great because almost none of my Diamonds actually have their shoes, so. Score! That's cool, and I don't know which Chloe this is. If you do, please help. I'm just going to assume Diamonds because that would make sense with the time period of the clothes that she's wearing, but who knows? And I really like Bratz Kids again. I just never find them anywhere, and I certainly never find them in lots. And um, I actually, this might be a controversial take, but I think their faces are like prettier than most dolls that exist. Like they're just really well designed. They're very, very pretty. Just very consistently beautiful. 
And yeah, I don't really have an outfit for her, but maybe someday I'll find Brad's kids clothes. I do have some extra Brad's kids clothes. I'll have to consult my archives. All right, the last doll is a doll that I already have, but I bought her because she has accessories that I do not already have. So this doll was $4 and this is Mariposa from Barbie as Mariposa. Mariposa, um, just butterfly in Spanish, isn't it? Um, so mine, I believe is missing this cape thing because what was this? Like, Mattel, what, what was this supposed to be? It doesn't match. I don't know. Um, but mine is missing this, and then I'm pretty sure mine is missing the crown too. But I also have other Barbies that need this crown, so having an extra of that crown is great. Um, and she's very pretty, so I'll just have to fix up her hair and get her on display. And I'll pro- or I might not get her on display like this. I might actually put her head on a different body and then display her that way, because I just think this- I miss this fairy era of Mattel because the dolls, they would do like special screenings and face sculpts for them. I don't know if this is like unique face sculpt, but it is a unique screening and it's just so pretty. They would give them like bigger eyes and fairy features and I just thought they were so gorgeous. Um, this is that specific doll that has those huge glittery wings. And again, I do already have the doll. It's just that I really needed those accessories and I'm sure I will have a use for this doll in my collection. And I'm very excited to have the accessories that I was missing. Yay, because I really like that Mariposa doll. And that is it for this haul. Found a lot of stuff. We found some Bratz doll. Found a lot of Barbie, like way more Barbie than usual. And two Rainbow High, which is very different. And LOL Long G. I don't know, this was a very well-rounded haul, even some Disney. And I enjoyed it a lot. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, and My Little Pony. I don't really get to add My Little Pony very much in my collection. Um, I'm very happy with all of this stuff. I cannot wait to get all this stuff fixed up and on display. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye.